Hello everyone, in this video, we'll talk about PET, which stands for Positron Emission Tomography. PET is a nuclear medical instrument which helps doctors detect diseases like cancer or any disorders. It is often combined with CT or MRI, allowing doctors for a better diagnosis. Now, how is PET able to visualize our brains? It is because of the radioactive molecules distributed in our brain. Now, let's start to dig into the details. The magic of PET lies in the world of nuclear medicine. It all starts with unstable atoms, specifically one containing protons and neutrons within their nucleus. These atoms, also known as radioisotope, have an imbalance in their internal forces, making them eager to decay and reach a more stable state. During decay, some radioisotopes release a tiny positively charged particle called a positron. Think of it as the antimatter twin of an electron. This emission marks the beginning of PET's magic. This positron don't roam free really for long, they quickly encounter radio tracers, specifically designed molecules tagged with the radioisotope. These tracers mimic natural substances like glucose or amino acids, allowing them to be absorbed by specific tissue based on their metabolic activity. Once inside the target tissue, the positron journey takes a dramatic turn. It encounters an ordinary electron, and their meeting sparks an event called annihilation. This collision annihilates both particles, converting their mass into pure energy in the form of two gamma rays flying off in opposite directions. The PD scanner comes equipped with a ring of detectors specifically designed to capture these gamma rays. When two detectors register gamma ray arriving simultaneously from opposite direction, it signifies the location of the annihilation event, pinpointing the precise spot where the radio tracer accumulated in the body. Millions of these coincident events are collected by the scanner, generating a vast data set. Sophisticated computer algorithms then take over, reconstructing this data into stunning 3D images. These images, color coded to represent varying levels of metabolic activity, unveil the hidden landscape of cellular function within the scan area. Red Law and Reaction Order of PET PET involves radioactive decay which is a first reaction order. In first order reaction, rate of reaction directly proportional to the quantity of the substance undergoing decay. The rate of decay for the first order reaction can be described by the following equation. The fact that the radioactive decay process follows a first order kinetics means that the rate of decay is determined solely by the concentration or number of radioactive nuclei present. It is independent of the concentration of any other substance and is a characteristic feature of radioactive decay. Next, elementary reaction and molecular aspect of PET. This reaction involves the annihilation process. In this process, two gamma rays release and travel in opposite direction. And this gamma ray, then detected by the PET scanner and used to reconstruct an image of the traces distribution within the body. This annihilation process involves positron emission, positron electron annihilation, and gamma ray detection. The molecular MPET refers to two main aspects, which are level of the PET imaging provide and radio level molecule as tracer. So here's our molecular aspect in PET, which are specificity, sensitivity, and quantitative information. Thank you for watching. I hope you get a lot of info from our video.